So welcome back to the second part of my video about fixing this three gun uh, gun cabinet to a solid ball in my house. Um, and hopefully this is going to give you some ideas uh, for your own uh, for your own project. Um, in the first part of the video, I mentioned that uh, of the importance of limiting the opportunity for the burglar, uh, and limiting the opportunity means reducing the amount of leverage or the opportunity for him to get it off the wall. Now, uh, in this case, what I've chosen is the the gun cabinet will be against solid wall here. There is a slight gap down this side here, granted, but the, the thing will be absolutely rock solid against this wall all the way down to the floor. And that means that inside, I'll just show you again. If you can see, but right here, there are two holes for two fixings and here at the bottom two more holes for two more fixings so I'll be using the concrete anchors through the back of the unit through the back of the cabinet to secure them here and here which means that when this door is shut locked like that sorry about the noise anybody with a crowbar coming along is going to want to get it in this edge here and try and get leverage there but the problem is straight away they're into the door so this way into the door or well, they can't get any leverage this way it's very difficult so it just doesn't stop them from doing it just makes it a little bit more harder that's all so um, again hopefully you can see at the moment this has got quite a nice tight flush fitting edge and uh, now I'm going to crack on with the actual job of putting it on the wall and that's where it's going to be and we'll see how that goes so hello again uh, the gun cabinet is now standing where it will be fixed um, I've taken my guns out and I've obviously got just the insides uh, you can't see particularly well here but you can just make out the points where I'm going to fix it the four points I mentioned earlier so I'm going to take one of these marker pen and simply mark through the back of the to the back of the unit the exact place where these holes need to be one two again you can't see particularly well here but trust me this is what I'm doing three and four now I can take the gun cabinet away let's close the door again can uh, move it out of the way so now you can see the same space but without the gun cabinet and clearly marked on the wall are the four anchor points that I need to drill uh, in order to secure the cabinet to the wall so if we just go back to the subjects of these uh, these concrete anchors here um, these are probably supposed to be used in solid concrete uh, or block um, they're probably not 100% ideal in stone. Uh, stone walls uh, tend to have uh, some loose material or not be quite as, uh, uh, as solid, but believe me, this will hold far enough for the job it needs to do. And as I said earlier, if somebody really wants to get it off the wall, they're going to anyway. Now, the important thing with these is you have to drill a hole that is exactly the correct width to match the sleeve on this bolt. And marked on the bolt somewhere there, it should be, uh, there we go, M10. M10, um, if you look it up, uh, is an equivalent to a 16 millimeter drill bit, and you need that to be a snug fit. So I'm going to drill uh, with a 16 millimeter uh, wall uh, uh, drill bit with my hammer drill, um, jack hammer, and basically uh, you need this to be uh, the length of the bolt up to the point where it'll be fixed. So from here to the end, plus about one inch. The thing is. Once this is in place inside, you'll have that much of it sticking out and uh, you can either cut it off with an angle grinder or if you leave enough space uh, when uh, when you come to, if you want to take the gun cabinet away, when you remove the bolt, if you give it a good whack and you've left an extra inch, um, that will go far enough in to disappear. You won't have any problems. Okay, so just looking at the length of the bolt now, uh, I've got this uh, 16 drill bit here which is a bit of overkill but it doesn't matter do the same job 
Um, and uh, this uh, bolt here, M10, I need to cut it basically from the end here to the point where it will create the join and hold the cabinet plus one inch as I said earlier. Now in this case I'm actually going to mark on my drill bit because it's clean uh, it's very easy for me to do so I'm just going to mark about here like that. Um, some people put tape on some people use a depth gauge but I don't have either with me so I couldn't be bothered to go downstairs and get it. So now we're going to crack on and drill the holes and of course as any good workman knows when drilling holes always wear eye protection and the ear defenders which if you're using a shotgun uh, you probably got somewhere lying around anyway so okay here we go okay one of the things i need to mention is it's really really important that you have to draw your hands in case you want to so we'll do the same for all four holes and you'll see that in a second so uh, we skip to the bit now where the uh, gun cabinet is actually in place. I avoided the showing you all the messy bit. You don't need to know how to bolt screws up. I'm sure uh, that's fairly obvious. Um, now, the thing is, this does not move. Even when I really tug it, it is absolutely fixed to the wall by these bolts here inside. I had to cut the excess uh, of the bolts as they were threaded inside the cabinet with a hacksaw um, but apart from that uh, that was fine because they were actually getting in the way of the barrel of the gun. So um, there you have it, it's now in its home, ready to do its job. So if you have any questions or anything you want to know about um, what happened during the uh, installation or any more information uh, please let me know uh, don't forget to like this video if you found it useful um, and hopefully uh, hopefully you'll have no problem with yours um, and there you go I need to put that inside it but apart from that it's all good to go and uh, okay take care bye